What about you? An interest in recording music, jamming in live sessions, maybe being part of a band? Well, you can make the dream happen. It's new to Vancouver. It's the League of Rock. Rockisms, yeah. What is it about Vancouver where we not um, hardcore enough, not rock and roll enough? No, no. You know, the the, uh, the thinking you know back home is that is that Vancouver is a, is a far more creative town than, than Toronto. So I was looking forward to you know to sort of you know, unearthing those adults who are you know stuck in the basement playing their instruments alone. the hidden world of rock and roll. Are there a lot of people out there that love to play but aren't doing it? You know, I see it as, as the, the hidden musical population. You know, we're, like, we're like the unsung heroes of rock, right? We're adults and uh, people have this expectation, you know, we've got jobs and families. So I thought that I would turn on its ear, right? And give us, you know, our Wednesday nights back. You know, we're allowed to dust off those drumsticks and, and play like we did when we were 19, right? So the League of Rock is really designed uh, for that, right? It's a dream for so many people to be a rock star, you know, I mean, pop star over here, but rock star, really, <laughs> when it comes down to it, that's where it all started. Yeah, truly, it's, it's, it just feels good to work with other musicians. You really get pushed when you are put in a situation and you have to learn to work together, and that's really an important part of it, too. Mark, how long have you been playing for? Oh, I've been playing for about 40 years, I guess. Really? Yeah, a long time, yeah. And what do you think of the jab sessions, the join a band? I think it's a great idea, a great concept. I think it's, uh, you know, definitely the way to go if you're a player that hasn't played in a while and, you know, you get an opportunity to come and jam with uh, fellow musos. Musos? Oh, I like that. <laughs> I get some lingo here, too. Don, I feel like such a groupie today, and this is the place to do it. It's a pretty cool studio. Oh, it's awesome here. Yeah, we, we like it a lot. It's a, it is a world-class studio. Uh, it's, it's Garth Richardson's uh, studio that has been turned into a recording school. So we still do commercial work here, and of course we teach students how to be uh, engineers, producers, and rock stars. Pretty inspiring too with all those um, gold albums on the wall. Absolutely, there's a lot of them. Yeah. yeah Garth's produced Rage Against the Machine and uh, Chili Peppers and a long list of things. The uh, League of Rock guys get to come in for a session. They, they pick a song, and then they track it. They record the basic parts, they do some overdubs, uh, vocals, then they mix it. And it's all done with world-class gear, with world-class engineers. And, and it'll sound great, and they have a blast doing it. What is it about music that, that makes people so excited? Oh, because it, it livens you up. It's, it's magic, something that you hear that actually changes the way you feel. And it's great fun to play, and everybody loves to listen to it, and there's, there's nothing like it. Am I doing this right? Is this, is this how I rock? like that. It is like that. Yes. What's this? And you can put it on a little bit of an angle. Okay. Right? And kind of, you know, that's it. Yeah. For those about to rock, we, we salute, salute you. you. Hey, we've all got to start somewhere, don't we? The first Vancouver League of Rock session starts on July 22nd, and that's also the date of the launch party at the Yale.